Why is music such a great backdrop for movies? For movies? Yeah. Well, what kind of movies do you like to watch? Anything really? Do you like Do you like music in movies? Like, does it mean a lot to you? Like, when the when the music is happening, or are you like feeling a certain feeling or whatever? Yeah, so like that's why that's why for us like that's why I want to make a music movie because I grew up watching music movies and I love them like I love High Fidelity and um, and so I wanted to make something that uh, incorporated uh, musicians but also like awesome music so we have original score in this and uh, and then Sean Watkins did did the score and then he also wrote a song for it and then the uh, Taylor Rice from the band Local Natives uh, wrote one of the songs as well so like I always just want to make a music movie yeah and music is emotion you know so it's so important to movies like Cheryl was just talking about before how you know like we made a movie that's about you know uh, characters and real human beings and like uh, music serves to underscore the emotion the emotion is such an important part of a film and about telling a story so yeah okay this one's for Cheryl why did you choose this to be your first movie to direct well, Aaron and I wrote it together, and I wasn't going to direct it. And then um, we sort of, we had another director attached, and uh, he he left the film. And so w when that happened, we were sort of soul-searching about what, what we should do. And I had been, uh, I, I had sort of been dreaming about it and envisioning it, and I thought, like, I, I really want to do it. I really want to direct it so it sort of happened accidentally but um, but I think it it happened in the most organic way which is that you know I just sort of fell into directing it um, what do you hope people take away from your guys's characters oh wow that's a good question I think that it's okay to be imperfect and that families are imperfect and um, and that the life that you choose is not as interesting as the life that finds you. I think that's what I would want people to take away from it. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, <laughs> and also don't don't drink so much. <laughs> that would be another good thing to take away from it. Yeah, I think that's your character. <laughs> well, I was working on a different documentary. Actually, it was it was a violin documentary, but uh, it was it was a it was a different story. And um, in the course of in the course of making it. Uh, a guy who was a friend of a friend of a friend in the Columbus Symphony Orchestra told me about this like really crazy dude who was out in the middle of nowhere, Ohio. And so I went out there for, you know, thought I was going to just interview him for like five minutes and then was like, whoa, this is going to be a great movie right here. So, um, What do you hope the audience takes away from your film? Uh, I hope that, I just hope they have a really good time. And I think the movie, even though the movie's about a, about this one guy in Ohio making a violin, I think that, I hope that everyone can relate to it with things that they are passionate about in their life because it's kind of like the common sort of common human feed dream you know to like do something great in life and to matter and to count. Uh, it came from Lucas uh, reaching out to me about his life story and so uh, a lot of it came from directly from Lucas as the inspiration and we grew up together so I already knew a lot of stuff but I also didn't know a good a good portion and so uh, the next challenge was finding you know what angle we were going to take for the short film and what to include, and, and an incident happened in his real life that um, sort of inspired the rest of the story. A uh, simple story about an estranged brother and trying to come to terms with um, family, loyalty, um, addiction, things like that. Um, what do you guys hope the audience takes away from the story? Uh, you want to go? Okay. So uh, for this one, um, I really wanted to um, uh, break uh, stereotypes and barriers in that way. Um, we come from a progressive college town, uh, Ithaca, New York. And so we grew up uh, with all types of people from all walks of life. And I think in cinema, especially mainstream cinema, um, we embrace people who, uh, we, 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 we tend to glamorize and uh, sensationalize poverty and, uh, and um, things of that nature and, uh, and violence in poverty and stuff like that. And so we want to make a film that has all that stuff without actually showing it. So you actually, even though it's about his brother's addiction and about family betrayal and about um, love and all those things, we don't ever show drugs, guns, violence, none of that. So, and that's one of our main goals. And, and also the, the next project that we're expanding from will be the same. 
where the rule is that even though we're dealing with these subject matters, we're not going to ever show it to you. We're not going to pander to that audience. So it's to challenge your perception on, on people and stuff.